Hello, this is Jeff Ryle from G4G Math Resources in Houston. Today, we'll do the first of two videos on volume computations uh, using surfaces uh, using the Like Infinity Office software. Okay, so once again, Like Infinity is a paid Office software. Uh, it's a lot of power at your fingertips, and uh, there's a, a module called Services that we have to buy, um, that, or it can be added if it exists in Infinity, and we'll go through those options at the end of the this presentation. And um, so once again, what's really neat about using uh, like Infinity is you'll see in here today that we created some break lines uh, in the day that we picked up. And that will help better define, more realistically define the stockpile or dirt mound. And we can also define like a boundary to ensure that everything that we wanted to be included is included uh, in, in that surface, okay? And it's also possible to take points in and out and edit the surface as well and make as realistic as possible. We'll go over some different uh, options for computing uh, the surfaces and volumes. So here's just a picture. Um, this is a picture of the uh, stockpile or dirt mound that we're trying to determine the volume in the back of our office. And once again, uh, if I was in Infinity, I can go in there and define a series of points I collected as a break line. And this would uh, emulate the wall here and that break line surface or break line right there. And once again, there's a series of points that we walked around here and um, collected to define the boundary to ensure we included all the area that we wanted to determine the volume of dirt that's on this uh, small stock wall or dirt mound. So I just wanted to show you a picture and um, I should have collected a little bit more points here to better define this, but this will give you an idea and illustrate um, how to use infinity. So that's the main purpose here today. All right, we've imported our RTK data into Infinity Office software, and here's the G4 uh, Stafford Office. And uh, if I zoom in, you can see that with RTK data, we create our own local coordinate system. and uh, down here is called Craven's Local. And we collected, when we trained in some control points and did some line work. And what we did down here is survey with RTK off the base station, a series of points on a dirt mound to figure out the volume. Okay, so let's take a, a deeper look into here. What we'll do is the next uh, video, I'll show you how to create these surfaces. So for now, let's just see how we can calculate volumes off the surfaces that we created. So I created one called base and the stockpile. And this will allow us to do a surface to surface comparison. And uh, right now, if I zoom in, this will just show the points that we created. Uh, if I rotate, right now I'm in 2D, if we go to 3D, we can rotate up here. And here's the, the model here. And what we did is we had a series of points that we created a boundary, and the boundary would uh, determine the extent of the, the dirt or stockpile we want to use. And we can also define a break line. So we had a wall, and this uh, what we did is this, this line here we used as a break line. And this would better determine the DTM, uh, be more realistic, and uh, give us some more realistic stockpiles. So the next video will go over how to create the boundary lines, attach them, and the break lines. Okay. So once again, we're, if I go into the surfaces, um, we have these different options that you can use. And um, the first ones are really used for when you're doing it scan data. Uh, if you're doing total station or RTK data, then we'd recommend using the 2.5D to create your surfaces. And we create a contour map as well. So what we can do is right now, um, we have a stockpile to a point. So if I wanted to, to get the volume of this stockpile of dirt that we surveyed in, and let's say we want to reference it to uh, a point on our survey. So what we can do is just click on this option here, and it'll ask which surface you want to reference. We created two, so we'll, we'll do the first one called Stockpile. We'll hit OK, and from the point, I can come down here and pick one of the points that I shot in, uh, 10, 15, hit OK, and then hit Calculate. This will create the uh, a report. And uh, if I hit the report down here, 
it'll go through and then show us the uh, the volume calculations and um, cut fill and and how much volume we have ours set in uh, square USB, but once again, you can change your units. I'll show you how to do that. So once again, I can save that and uh, just hit export and save that report there. So that's the first one that we did. Um, this is around 3,000 square feet or cubic, cubic feet. I will close out of here. And once again, I can now uh, say, right, let's do a stop file to a height. So we knew a certain elevation, benchmark elevation we wanted to use. And then uh, we can just type that elevation in. And we had like an elevation. We did a local transformation and put like an elevation of 100 down here. So if I wanted to do that, we didn't once again pick the uh, surface we want to use. We have several. We want to name the surface as something that makes sense. Okay, so it's the base and the stockpile. So we hit OK and then hit calculate. And once again, now based off that elevation, this is how much dirt is in that area that we defined by the boundary. Okay, so once again, I could do another report and uh, save that. And uh, hit export. Okay. Now let's do surface to surface. So what we did is um, we shot a bunch of points in. And what we did, if I could go by point ID, I went around and shot the base, and the base points are all in the 1000s, and that's how we define the first uh, surface here. And then we went through on the second surface, which is called stockpile. We went through, we did the gray breaks, surveyed the lines in for break lines, and all the points are in 2000s was the, the topo for the uh, top of the surface, okay? And so it's just a great uh, little tip there to use uh, this nomenclature when you're collecting data to quickly define uh, your different surfaces. We'll go through that in the next video as well. So the surface to surface, we can click on here. And once again, we want to go from the base um, and, pick, and pick the stockpile, hit OK, and then hit the calculate button. And once again, there's our so a little bit less than before, just because we're comparing surface to surface, and then we can hit a report there and uh, hit the save button. All right, so once again, that these will all be saved. I'll just save that, name it, and then hit OK. And that's just a quick overview on how uh, we can use the uh, surface module and uh, the next video will dig a little bit deeper in how we define these, but I just want to show you how the different options there to calculate your volumes based off of these uh, different uh, algorithms that are available. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll get back to infinity. And um, so once again, uh, we went over the different types of search types that were available, and there's four of them refined, regular, interpolated, 2.5D. So once again, refined is for very clean point cloud data. And uh, here's some more in depth. This is from the manual. So you want to read a little bit deeper into it. This is goes into you know why more attributes you want to use if you want to use this refined option. Uh, the regular and the interpolated, once again, uh, more designed for scan data, um, not as consistent as the first. Maybe we're combining scan data from MS60 and a GS18i. Uh, this might be more uh, the interpolated or the regular might be more appropriate. And once again, 2.5D um, is really used for ground shot data uh, that may be collected with a total station or with a uh, RTK unit. Okay, so that's just a little bit more information on those different options. And uh, once again, like Infinity now, uh, if you needed to, to order this. Uh, infinity option. We'd also have that the core, and the core has all these options available. And uh, if we added the surface and volumes, which is under the blue section, which is called engineering, that will allow the functionality. And this can be added to your existing infinity license if you don't really have it, but you want to add surface and volumes to it. So once again, here's just some current pricing as of July 2024. If you're getting it from scratch, you'd have to get the core license 705 
plus an engineering option. We strongly recommend the CCP that keeps everything updated and gets you background maps. And there is a subscription option as well. Uh, but this is just approximate pricing. If there's any uh, questions that you have, just feel free to send an email or reach out, reach out to us at G4. Okay, so that's just a brief overview of volume surfaces. Uh, we'll dig a little bit deeper into in the second video to go over how to create them. Thanks for watching.